I can't do this anymore. No, I was um, about to say, no one's going to notice because once I get done processing this tomorrow, it's all going to be at the same volume. Damn it, Ben. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta ruin all my fun all the time. We're throwing chairs at Oxenfree. It's from Night School Studios. It's built on its own engine. What is it? Oxenfree is a it's supernatural Unity. thriller. Is it? Un- it's gotta be Unity. You- it smells like Unity. Yes. yes all right. I'm, 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 just, I'm just reading the thing off the, off the show notes. Um, so whatever. It's, it's the Oxenfree Oxen Unity. It's, it's, it's the Oxenfree <laughs> Unity engine. Oxenfrunity. Um, <laughs> Oxenfree is a supernatural thriller about a group of friends who unli- unwittingly open a ghostly rift. You're you are Alex, and you've brought your new stepbrother Jonas to a Pornhub. I mean, to an overnight island party gone horribly wrong. Um, yeah, uh, we. This game was either part of a humble bundle. It was also on sale for like two dollars on um, on GOG, which is where I got it. Um, but anyways, let's talk about how it runs on Ubuntu. Ben Stone. Hey, beautiful people, check this out. You want to know it runs on 1804, the LTS, that business running over here on a Ryzen 7 1700 with a 980 that's going on right now. Cause my own damn fault. This graphical juggernaut, can, can it do the um, UHD? That's what I tested at 3840 by 2160. First, I should say it launches, no issues. Did it uh, full screen window, couldn't get it to crash, didn't have a problem. It's going to do 60. I mean, look at the damn thing. Come on. Come on, even with a 980, no issues whatsoever. And again, you know, I tested in wooded mode. I tested in big picture. No problems. Unity. Progress. Uh, with the controls, I didn't test it with the x controller, but I did hit the go button on the Areola, the steamy controller. Again, nothing negative to report. Clean bill of health. Solid four chairs. Yeah, uh, on Fedora 2864 bit. I was about to say 24, but that's that's years ago. It's very old distribution. Uh, with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, does it launch? Yes, yes, it does. Does it perform? It it do. Um, I, I I will say though um, that at least if you're using the GOG version, I don't know if the Steam version. I don't think the Steam version has this problem, but it doesn't remember your windowed mode settings, which is really annoying um graphics wise i mean the art style reminds me a lot about a a, a lot of like a, there were a lot of uh, canadian animated shows coming out in the early aughts coming out of quebec and vancouver and this sort of matches that art style so it's all right uh control wise um yeah the I, I think i think steam input fixes a lot of the problems here if you're not mm-hmm. using uh, the steam version uh, the gog version uh, the DualShock had a bunch of mu- buttons that were mismatched. Uh, one of the trigger button, uh, it was it was the uh, right trigger. It was the uh, start button, and the conversation cues were all just spray and pray. I, I don't know. Uh, keyboard and mouse worked fine though, uh, so I'll give that three out of four. Yeah, and over here on Solus with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 5 uh, 1600, it uh, launched. I also tried it on the Steam box that's also running Fedora 29 with the Ryzen 5 2400G with the uh, RX Vega 11. And yeah, no, it holds um, 60 even on the uh, the APU. And if you're wondering how you can get a FURPS counter on SteamOS slash big picture mode, uh, Gallium HUD, look it up. That's that's actually very useful. Uh, there, yeah, the graphics they're there. They 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 they're teeny tiny characters on screen at any given point. But uh, yeah. Controls, the Steam Controller, the 8-Bit Do SNES Pro, and the DualShock 4 all worked out of the box. So, yeah, the clean bill of health here. Um, bonus soda for not having actual key prompts. Everything is just positional, so which button you press indicates which uh, action you or what line of dialogue you will say at that time. Uh, and the keyboard, even though you can't really remap it, it does have the uh, arrows bound to mirror WASD, so it's good. Four chairs for me. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Get the Steam version. Uh, what about fun-wise, Ven? Did you enjoy teenage drama and point-and-click adventure? 
I know. Hey, you love man, that. I almost had as much fun as uh, no, not really. All right, I'm lying. Um, oh, I just want to preface this by saying, just reminding everyone at home that I genuinely hate children and choose your own adventure book games <laughs> disguised as video games. This oxen free. When you boil it down, it's an adventure book game. That's what it is. I mean, listen, Night School Studio. They did a great job with it. They absolutely did. The game is very performant. It runs well. Controllers work, at least on Steam. No issues whatsoever. It looks really pretty. Um, I like the art style. And unlike something like, oh, I don't know, Life is Strange, the conversations in this, cringeworthy as they might be, because, hey, teenagers, uh, or 20-somethings writing dialogue for teenagers, it's very organic. I mean, it does come across as a legitimate conversation that uh, believable i guess i should say however you know it quickly became apparent that um i kind of give negative fucks about teenagers going to an island dealing with spoopy shit i do it's really just a thing i lasted i i have 43 but i went back to try to play some more and it just didn't happen today i got right up to the game um there's a point apparently about 43 minutes in where the game forced me to make a stupid choice I was like, I had dumb choice A, dumb choice B. I'm not going to spoil it because this is one of those games you're going to play once. Um, I had to tap out like right there. As far as gaming, Pedro is going to elaborate on this. And Pedro is going to elaborate on it a little closer to the microphone than he did in the first section. Um, the gaming element was really the radio. You got to tune that to for the narrative, for the story. See how that's going to go. Now, the other interactive points is walking that's a thing and pressing a button to perform a singular action. So, you know, sorry, not sorry, because if you don't dig this type of game and you know who you are, if you're like me, you don't like games like gone home, you're drunk, life is strange and like oxen free. It's not going to change your mind. It's just not, it's a perfectly well done game for the type of people who dig the shit out of this and more power to you. I'm just not one of them. However, I do want to live in this game's world because one of the teenagers straight up, munched on a special brownie and less than three minutes later dude tapped out he sit down he's like shit it's kicking in i want me some of that but <laughs> far as i can say for fun and again i'm not blowing up the game i'm just the entire genre how about that that lessens the blow yeah one cheer and just pass it on it's not going to make you like this uh if you don't like the entire yeah nope yeah, I I have a pretty low tolerance for teenage, teenage drama, and this game kind of made the unfortunate misstep of front-loading a lot of it, where you had this conversation about stuff that I really don't care about. That said, once you power through the introduction, uh, the drama bits are few and far between, and you get to determine how much of an asshole you are to your stepbrother. I was the biggest asshole. I... I, I picked the worst option for every single conversation, and I think that may have resulted in one of the kill characters killing themselves, but uh, we'll get to that later. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, however, I am a sucker for a good mystery, and Oxenfree has a decent one. There are little, there are lots of little scraps of information everywhere, and it's fun for me to try and put it together and figure out what's going on. It seems straightforward, but maybe maybe it isn't. I don't know. Is, is, is it aliens? Is it Cthulhu? Is it ghosts? We don't know. Um, and the, the gameplay elements are a little lacking, though. I mean, like, the, the, this is clearly, like, a descendant from, like, King's Quest sort of uh, text-parsing adventure games, that sort of thing. And... They, they try to spice it up with, like, there's the radio element, which basically boils down to making very broad sweeps with your mouse until you find the crackly static thing and then figuring out what the specific um, position on the dial is to advance the plot. And I really, really, really wish that you had a run button in this because you do have to kind of explore a little bit and the walking is just painfully slow. Oh, my God. Um the um all all in all i mean if you like fmv games or, or mysteries you might get something out of it um the the yeah like ven said the, di the dialogue is like not fucking super cringy teenage drama written by 50 year olds who don't understand how teenagers talk and there, there's a certain lack of profanity which kind of removes the, the the genuine nature of the conversation for a given teenager um but I'm and I, I mean like here's the thing the the game does the stupid thing where like oh no there's clearly a killer in the woods let's go take a shower in in the woods mm -hmm. with with our fourth <laughs> shower, um, but like it it's it's well done um I, I I might be tempted to go back and finish it just because I want I want to know what's happening it has a, it has a decent enough plot hook to uh, keep me invested I'll give it two chairs it's solid, 
Yeah. And I've mentioned this time and time again. In my opinion, games should be about mechanics. It's the one thing that sets video games apart from other art mediums. It's their mechanics. It's the interactivity. And right off the bat, Oxenfree is a bare skeleton of game mechanics, which they're there to qualify this as a video game, and they really do not much of anything else. The meat here is in the story and the dialogue tro- the dialogue choices that you make as you go along. I can see why the first bit of the game wouldn't punish you for making one choice over another, uh, and you do get a very genuine sense of when when those choices start to matter. It's right after this bit that you're looking at right now. Uh, it's the core mechanic is the dialogue and how your character decides uh, what your character decides to say or you decide to say, how uh, that impacts everything else around you, what the other characters say, what the other characters do, has Jordan figured out. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's I've always had trouble, even when I was a teenager, I had trouble relating to teenagers in the real world, and I really couldn't muster the effort to care about these virtual ones. Now, I'm again, I'm with Ven and Jordan on this one, because the dialogue here isn't as terrible as Life is Strange, but it's, yeah, it's still teenage dialogue, accurate as it may be. Um, the, The protagonist... Here is also unlike uh, Life is Strange, not just a pair of pants for you to don. She, she's kind of an asshole. It, every single uh, choice that you get, she drops so much sarcasm, it's actually kind of insane. Uh, but I play video games for what they can show me, not for what they can tell me. And this is a game about telling. There's a whole lot of telling rather than showing in Oxenfree. Uh, I care much more about the supernatural and the weird stuff uh, than I do about teenage ones and zeros. So unfortunately, when the focus is on the teenagers, my interest is kind of lost. Two chairs. All right. So there you go. Um, it, if, if you're into this sort of game, it's, it's a good example of it. If you're not into this sort of game, it probably won't change your mind. Um, Coming up. Check it out, man. If this was more like Negasonic Teenage War, I don't know. When I think about being a teenager, it's billions of years ago. It, I never had any situations like that if alcohol was involved, man. There was no, <laughs> oh, let's sit around. It was like, whoa, let's go ride sharks. Um, <laughs> see, like, see, like, man, I didn't have friends as a teenager, so I didn't do any of this shit. Um, then, then, then again, it was like, there's a killer in the wood. Yes, let's go get him. Um, I don't know. That's the thing. It's a well done game. It's just not my jam. I want to see that uh, radio game mechanic being used in other games where the focus is less on the dialogue and more on the exploration, for instance. All right. <laughs>